Hey, we're the mass holes. We're on the West Coast. We're the West Coast. Mass holes. We're the mass holes on the West Coast. We were from mass. We were holes when we're there, but we came out here and now we're West Coast mass holes. Here we go. Leave meeting. What? You always do that. You don't. When the button comes up and it says meeting and leave meeting, you don't need to say out loud what you're going to do. And then you always say leave meeting and then you don't leave. I don't leave it, no. My hey, daughter just barked at you. Ladies and gentlemen, tell your dog to shut up. Ladies and gentlemen. I said uh, daughter, daughter. Don't oh. talk to me. I will. What are you, a <laughs> Nazi? I was like, I didn't think you had a dog, but I was like, okay. She's uh, part wolf. It's weird. Oh, like in uh, the Northman. Do you do you cr crawl around and bark like a dog on the floor with her when it's time for her to go to battle? Yeah, but I, I did that without being provoked by this uh, half-naked movie. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's got Vikings. It's very serious. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is West Coast Massholes. Uh, I'm Todd Anderson, and that's Josh Wingate. And uh, I'm starting the timer. Uh, You're late. Timer should have been started already. Well, you kept talking. You made it impossible. I can't. I, I mean, how am I supposed to start? Jesus. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. It started. So now is the time to talk. Now say what you have to say. What are you? I what are you mad about? Forgot you were the victim of. I forgot you were the king of victim culture. <laughs> yes, I am. And you know what? I you're couldn't victim. put my timer on because you were talking. <laughs> You know what you're behaving what? like is that uh, it is 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 that damn mob outside of Brett Kavanaugh's house. Stop acting like that. You have to condemn that. Yeah, what, I want to be at mob? peace. You're 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 disrupting my home peace. I have a right to oh. privacy. Stop bothering me, Josh. You oh. mob. You're a mob. Oh oh, Kavanaugh is that that um, guy that cried during his because he was a rapist right because he was an alcoholic rapist in college and now he's taking away the rights uh to a woman's body for like well they're taking away the rights of the woman's rights right yeah that guy yeah, they're taking away uh women's rights they're overturning roe versus wade uh both kavanaugh and barrett when uh they uh were being interviewed and kavanaugh cried and said he liked beer uh, they both lied and said uh, that Roe versus Wade was set a law, and, and now it looks to be that they're overturning it. So people, I I Kavanaugh's neighbors, uh, organized a peaceful protest to take place. His neighbors, who obviously don't care about their fucking privacy, because they organized the <laughs> outside of Kavanaugh's home, and now uh, all the Republicans are like, you know, peaceful protests are okay, but this is mob intimidation and everybody has a right to privacy and fucking snowflakes. All of you. All of you. Uh, and that includes fucking uh, uh, Biden because he's backing them up on this. Stay away from Judge Kavanaugh. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, anyway, you know, if I had the time and the gas money, I'd drive out there. <laughs> you have the time. <laughs> you might just not have, have the cash money. money. I don't <laughs> have the money. I can walk. Maybe I should walk. Where is he? What part of the world do you live in? I believe he's in uh, Washington, D.C. That place is shithole. You don't want to go there. <laughs> My brother lives there. He'll take me in for a couple of days while I, uh, in between uh, protesting uh, outside of Kavanaugh. Why don't, you, why don't you get some white Nike Cortez uh, with red swoosh uh -huh. and start running and then you can run across the country and I'm not grow a beard enough. I'm not smart enough to be the next Forrest Gump that much is clear yeah but you could like you know put it on social media and maybe get some attention that you're running for in order to protest Kavanaugh because everybody should have a right to their body okay but here's the problem with running or walking across the country either way is uh i have i'm 50 there's that and the high blood pressure 
but there's also uh, I have Achilles uh, 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 tendonitis, you know. Come on, I'll be in pain the whole time. All right, fine. I mean, I guess it's for a good cause. I feel like you're pressuring me into, you, oh, this is the mob. This is mob pressure again. You're the mob again, and you're pressuring me. Leave me alone. I want to be private and alone. I have my rights. Are you giving, was that some sort of demonstration of your sexual prowess? <laughs> no, dummy. The world's smallest violin is playing a tune uh, for you. I, I knew what it was, but you see, I turned it around on you because you're a mob and you Didn't have work. mentality and you can't keep up with me because I'm a private citizen in my house and you're bothering me, you fucking mob. Yeah, but your dumbass is letting me in to your house with your camera, dumbass. No, you're not in my house. You're outside of my house right now, outside of my house, yelling into it, however you're doing it. <laughs> Not it's not okay. Yeah, but you're the one who started this meeting, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you're I, allowing this. Technically, you started all this shit because you were trolling me on Facebook. And you loved me so much. You're like, let's do a show together. No, uh, you kept complaining about my dumb shows, and I was like, well, maybe you can do it better. And then you came on and did it. Now I do all the production work. I start the fucking button and set up the meeting and do and send the emails and do the post production and add titles <laughs> and graphics and all this crap. But you know, it's your show that I do all this work on. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my paycheck. Well, then you need to learn how to generate money. Start a Kickstarter so you can uh, I don't know build a set. Listen, your dumb ass just needs to put on the screen Venmo, <laughs> a Josh Wingate. Why, why to you, though? If I'm putting them, I'll Venmo it. Right, to you give them a fucking choice. I don't care. Maybe put Venmo, you know, if you agree with, it? if you agree, if you no, know, listen, if you agree with my dumb redheaded ass, Venmo at Todd Fuckery. If you agree with that crazy asshole over there, Josh, we gave Benmo at blah blah blah. If so we could agree, start a we could start a debate. And we'll get agree with the mob, because he's the mob. You understand that? Yeah. He's the mob. Mm -hmm. Outside of my house, yelling into it. I'm trying to have peace. Yeah, well. And privacy. I'm an American. Yeah, there's no such thing. As an American, you know what the Patriot Act is? <laughs> the Patriot Act is the most un-American thing there ever. <laughs> but we call it the Patriot. We would call it the Patriot Act because if you're against it, you're in. You're not patriotic. <laughs> that's that's very true. It's all about branding, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Now, God forbid you don't stand and take your hat off at a baseball game during the national anthem. Oh my God! I was uh, I was I was outside doing a, a little yard work uh, before uh, I, I logged on to talk to you, the mob. And uh, I don't know what it was. It was school down the street or something. But someone was like live singing with a with a with musical backup the the national anthem. And it was like oh. it was like quarter at eight in the morning. I was like G Jesus Christ! A little early to be screaming the fucking. Star-spangled banner all over the neighborhood. Come on! Might as well start playing taps. Everyone like turn and face the face the flag. <laughs> yeah. Well, but this is what I'm saying. You know, Kavanaugh's mad that that there's a mob outside protesting the thing. What about me? What about these fucking people down the street who are invading my yard with the sounds of the Star-spangled Banner, a song? whose third verse is wildly racist, which is why nobody sings it anymore. But it's right down the street. So it's the Star Spangled Banner. So I'm getting violence into my ears. I'm getting uh, pro-slavery shit in my ears. I mean, that's critical race theory, if there ever was one. And there's, I, don't, you know, I don't know what they're trying to get me to turn into gender-wise by playing that in the morning. 
<laughs> do you know that the, uh, I am being groomed by my fucking neighbors. That's what I'm saying. Do you know who um, the the history of the Pledge of Allegiance? Who wrote the Pledge of Allegiance? A fucking flag salesman because he wanted to sell more flags. So he wrote the fucking that, thing. Makes, that was yeah. just Cold War, 1950s Cold War bullshit. That that wasn't yeah. even. Yeah, they, yeah. I I I always hated. Did you hate saying it in school? I hated it. Well, what was great about my uh, high school homeroom is my uh, homeroom teacher was a rebel and he was anti-Pledge of Allegiance. So he was like, he sat down, he didn't stand up and he's like, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Basically, if you want to, fine. I don't care if you don't, even better. So very few people did in my homeroom. That's true. That's cool. My homeroom teacher, uh, Bubba Kane, was super into the Pledge of Allegiance. It was his favorite. Bubba. To bring to bring that whole Forrest Gump thing back around, there it is. <laughs> On cue. Yeah. Bubba, Bubba loved it. He loved it. He was he was a real grumpy guy, my homeroom teacher, but he loved standing up and putting his hand on his heart and saying the Pledge of Allegiance. And if anybody got out of line, he'd get mad. Yeah. But I wouldn't, wouldn't say you love to go, I, Wouldn't you I, love I would, to be able to go back in time and say, uh, excuse me, Mr. Bubba? Um, um, do you know who wrote this? No, 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 sir. I want to introduce you. You know, you, you are a teacher. We should educate, right? We should educate people. So let's educate. The person who wrote this was a flag salesman. And the reason he wrote it is because you want to sell more flags. Yeah. And you are now pledging this flag based off of a salesman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not like, off I of mean, patriotism. Yeah. I, I could have said that, but I mean, and he was a history uh, 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 teacher with a specialty in civics. And I, I could have ex- said to him, hey, you know, my First Amendment right means that I don't have to say this any more than I'm free to say it. Right. And but then yeah. I would have gotten detention. See? Because that's Bob, unpatriotic. Bubba. Bubba is unpatriotic. He's a fascist. Bubba was a fascist. I don't yeah. really know what he was, uh, yeah. his political leanings, but I'm imagining Republican. Hmm. Well, I mean, a bunch it, of fascists. Yeah, a bunch of fascists. There's nothing more fascist. There's nothing more fascistic than the Pledge of Allegiance. There's nothing more fascistic. I mean, there's that. There's flying a flag off the back of your truck. That's all just fascist to me. I, I, it's yeah, it's bizarre. I don't, I don't, I don't know why you would. I like what, what, what like what are you? What are people? Okay, I don't want to come off like an unpatriotic commie or anything, but what's so fucking special about the United States of America outside of the money? Outside of the money that most of us don't get to have. What is good about it? What what the yeah. fuck is so great about this country? Tell me. Well, well, I would say I mean I was in the military because I was dumb and wanted to get out of my hometown. So I got to see some other places in the world that were pretty shitty. And I was like, yeah, America's better than this. So I think it's a I think the principle and the foundation of said principles, even though those principles aren't actually adhered to are pretty freaking cool mm. Mm. but yeah they're false they're not you know because like you know all men are created equal does not mean all men that means all white men mm. um and, and and it means men it does not mean female men women so but the foundation of it is pretty freaking rad if the so, idea that actually, all humans are yeah equal. i see yeah yeah, yeah. And then you could come here and create a life, you know, and then people have, there's been uh, people who have immigrated to America from uh, third world countries where there was not opportunities and they created uh, great success here. Sure, so sure. that, that's still, that's still uh, available. So, so what you're saying is the great thing about the United States of America is promises. Yeah, I guess. And, and hopes. Not actual freedoms. No. Not actual paths to success. Just the no. general idea of it is, is what's nice about America. So America, the United States of America, is what you're saying, and correct me if I'm wrong, but what you're saying is what's great about it 
is it's a nice idea. <laughs> Pretty much. And it's still a young country. It's still trying to figure itself out while trying to go backwards. You know what um, else was a nice idea, Josh? Hmm. The movie Hudson Hawk. What a nice idea that was. <laughs> I don't know what movie that was. Uh, okay. Howard the Duck. That was a nice idea, wasn't it? That movie is a freaking legendary film. I love that film. <laughs> Howard the Duck is one of the best films ever created. How dare you put that down? All right. Wrong example. Uh, Jesus Christ, you make these things hard. Uh, a nice idea. Ishtar was a nice idea. That sounds like you're being racist against something. Ishtar? Like being racist against Warren mm -hmm. Beatty and, and Dustin Hoffman? Being <laughs> casually racist in a comedy movie? I don't know. Okay. I'm just saying it was a nice idea. It just didn't turn out, is what I'm saying. It's a nice idea that didn't turn out. What about Spaceballs? That turned out. I don't see. I don't, Okay. If we're going to get into the Mel Brooks oeuvre, uh, I got to say, Spaceballs is a weak, weak link, comedically speaking. <laughs> well, you're just a negative Nancy. I, I no, I'm not. I mean, it, it, we talk about the earlier things. I mean, it's uh oh. Yeah, shit. I gotta go anyways because I got like actual work to do today. So. <laughs> okay. Well. All right. That's it for Ma <laughs> West Coast Massholes. Josh has got to work. I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. <laughs> Fuck you, Kavanaugh and Barrett, because you two are now associated with the Nazi party. Yes, you yep. are, your fascist fucks. All right. It's just so, so is most yeah. of the Supreme Court. Okay. Bye. This has been a Blursh production. Blursh. Shh.